Badass, 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 badass. Welcome back to another episode of Bad Apps. Uh, for those of you who haven't tuned in before, it's just me playing some bad apps and uh, commenting on them. Uh, I always try to use the app for the very first time with you guys. I don't want to have any idea what I'm getting myself into. So today we're going to try this rolling jumping ball. Uh, one of my favorite things about a lot of these bad apps is these incredibly descriptive titles. Uh, jumping ball fun. All right, well, it's promising fun. Ooh, this one, a little fancy. Got a link to, looks like, Facebook. Um, got some solid music going there. I want to make sure you can hear it. Kind of a marble madness feel, which is pretty appropriate. So we're going to try the play button here, and... All right. Looks like... Pretty simple here, you just... Whenever you tap, the ball jumps. Oop, and... Okay, so... As most things in life, red is bad. And I really dig those you just died sound effects. In fact, I dig it so much that... I'm gonna die again on purpose, just so you can hear. Yep, that is some pretty solid... Old school uh, wah wah in going on. So let's let's give this a go. This is kind of cool. Uh, level kind of changes, which makes it interesting. Um, don't oh, don't really know what to expect. Can't really plan ahead. Um, although it does look like it somewhat repeats itself, but not quite. Um, See, the farther I get, the higher my score goes. This is actually pretty fun. You know, when I started this whole idea of bad apps, I kind of expected to get a lot of duds. But I found that even though these apps may not be beautiful or very complicated... Ooh, my speed just changed. Um, I really do have a lot of fun playing them. Now, that may be a commentary on the apps themselves. It may just also be that I'm a very simple person who... Enjoys simple things. Ooh, cannot double jump. All right. Ooh. All right, but if you do let yourself get stuck behind one of these things, but if... Oh, apparently it just forces you right through it. Um, I'm going to try what this little up arrow here means. I'm... Oh, it wants me to share it. Well, I'm not going to share it right now. Uh, I'm going to go back to the home screen, though, and check this out. Looks like I can turn off the music. Oh. So I'm not really sure what this little door with the back arrow means, because it's just taking me right into the game. Um. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe from my last point left off. So, as always, uh, feel free to download the game and uh, try to beat my high score. I'd love to see you send in some screenshots of your high scores. Ooh. Oh, that was kind of scary. It just appeared there out of nowhere. Um, this can be my last run here. Let's see. Maybe I can give you something worthwhile to beat. I do not claim to be a game expert, but... Oh, it kept going awesome. But uh, I do want to make give you a little bit of a challenge. I can't... Can't give it away for free. All right. Jump, jump, jump kind of enjoy this this little cloud wisping by as I go although as my good friend Jason and uh, co-founder of Wampa would say there's no sound in space so he probably wouldn't like this boingy noise uh, he would expect total silence one of the many attributes of Firefly which if you are truly a nerd you understand well so as fun as this game was, I'm kind of getting a repeating thing here. I don't feel like it's getting a whole lot more difficult as I go. That doesn't mean I'm going to go forever. I'm still going to probably screw up and die, but... Uh, oh, and there we go. So it looks like high score here, 18,480. Let's see if you can beat that. Send in your screenshots. 
And that's at Nate at Wampaslayer.com. Thanks for listening. See you next time. All right. Welcome back. Uh, today we are going to try this game here called Crossy Hydrant. Um, an interesting name. Um, obviously a fire hydrant. That's all I know about it so far. Uh, Crossy. We, I guess we'll find out what that means. So let's give this a go. Oh, another game uh, powered by Unity. And, well, it kind of looks like a frogger. Um, for some reason, I am playing as this heroic fire hydrant. Um, and it looks like there's traveling fire hydrants for cars. So, oh, all right. Well, it looks like if you touch the screen, you get to move forward. So, um, I'm going to take a wild guess here and say don't run into trains, trains or fire hydrants. I uh, got a little over anxious there. And, all right. Um, not really sure what these little coins are. I've tried hitting on the sides to uh, go towards them, but... Looks like there's no lateral movement, only front and back. Um, why somebody... Whoa, go, 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 go! Oh, I got a coin. Fantastic. Uh, so why somebody decided to make a game where the main uh, character is a fire hydrant, I have no idea. Oh, if, I guess if you touch a fire hydrant and scroll sideways, oh, look at all this movement I can do. Oh, oh, just don't actually scroll that way. Um, I don't know. It is, it is interesting. Uh, hero fire hydrant here. I guess somebody was just driving down the street and maybe saw a dog taking a leak and thought, hey, that fire hydrant uh, should be able to get away if it wanted. And uh, this game was born. Um, I guess by that logic, I could look around my room right now and uh, let's see if I could make a game out of my clock and that hanger. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know how people mind work and uh, I don't want to. So uh, it looks like we got a high score to keep track of. It's got some coins. I have no idea what those coins are good for. Uh, just score, I guess. Um, kind of a basic look, but you know, I guess if you liked Frogger, uh, why wouldn't you want to play as a fire hydrant? And uh, wow, look at this. This amazing detail, although I am noticing now that the shadows look like a bunch of penises. And I think this game is now forever ruined for me because all I am seeing is lots of penises. Alright, well, I guess in a way though, being a happy little red penis is... Hey, what the hell? Uh, um, I guess now I can make up my own thing. So here we got a poppy red penis. We got a